please feel welcome to leave any feedback um, on the class. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. And um, this class is going to be dedicated to hip mobility, flexibility, and strength. Um, so, uh, so we start with the cross-legged. But the, um, the heels are kind of the same direction of the knees. So they are not cross-legged as to meditate, but slightly in a log kind of position. From the end, if you have a block or a pillow, please grab them on. Uh, apologies for not um, telling in advance, but we're going to need some of those. Um, placing the block in front of you and bring a pillow nearby in case you need that support. So from cross-legged, we're going to inhale deeply, lengthening through the spine to the crown of the head. And we're going to exhale, we're going to bring the belly towards the, the back of the spine, the back of the body, and we're going to fold. You're going to fold, opening the chest, folding, folding, and placing the head onto the block and pressing here with the head. By pressing with the head on the block, the tailbone goes down, grounding the, the pose. Allow the arms to be um, relaxed in front of you, no tension in the body, no tension in the uh, shoulders, no tension in the mouth, the tongue, the jaw. And if you need more support, then you can put the pillow be up, or we can use our fists and place here and pressing here. So stay here breathing, grounding. And start to notice if if is any tension, if is any discomfort in your pose. What can you do to change that feeling, that sensation? It can be to go a little bit back on the pose and then bring your head slightly up by using two blocks, for example, or hooks. And inhale, coming up and switch legs. Inhale here, lengthening through the spine. You can press with the hands onto the floor, allowing to aid to their length. Exhale, bring the belt to the back of the body and fold. Opening the chest, now allowing the chest to collapse. You lose your integrity of the pose there. Pressing with the head onto the block, to the hands, or a conjugation of block and pillows. Keep breathing. Connecting with the tailbone towards the ground. You also can use the block, place the elbows here, and then place the hands. Inhale, coming up. Placing the block in the side. Coming into our um, Dandasana. I place myself onto the side, but open leg. So the legs are slightly apart. We're going to place the hands, each hand on the side of um, the left leg, and we're going to lift the leg here for three. One two, three, and then the other, one, two, three. After doing this, we're going to bring, um, cross the, the chins and roll over into our tabletop. From the tabletop, we're going to rotate circundi through the wrists and bring some movement to our wrists, starting to warming up. And then forwards and backwards, also bringing movement then to the wrists and the knees. 
Now going a little bit forward by opening the knees slightly, coming into a child's pose. Then curving, coming all the way to the front. Curving back, giving some movement to the spine, going back to a child's pose. Curving the spine, sliding over to the front to a, let's say, half upward facing dog. Going back, exhale, inhale. Exhale, last one. Inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Coming into your uh, wrists. So this is a line with our shoulders, closing slightly the knees so they are stuck with the hips. And from here, we're going to start to um, tuck our toes, coming into a, a downward facing dog with the knees bent. Walking our facing dog really slowly here. Opening the toes, pressing with the toes, the ball of the foot, tucking the shoulder blades into the middle of the line of the body. Keep walking here and then coming, curving and doing our tabletop once more. <coughs> Inhale, lengthening the back leg and we're going to lift here for three. One, two, three, bring him back. Inhale, lengthening the left leg, lift for three. One, two, Three, keep the hip aligned, bringing it back. Now, in our tabletop, we're going to bring the right leg into a flexed knee and pump for three. One, two, three. The other side, one, two, three. Coming again to our downward facing dog with knees bent. Keep the knees bent. If, you, if you, your integrity of the spine changes when you place the heels down and come to the tip of the toes, heels down, tip of the toes, heels down, lift the toes, tip of the, uh, tip of the toes, bring the heels down, lift the toes, lift the heels to the tip of the toes, bring the heels down, lift the toes. Coming again into a tabletop. Now we're going to again inhale, bring the leg, the, the right leg to the side, and we're going to circulate here. Anti clockwise to, towards the trunk of the body three times, and then away from the body three times. Bringing the knee back into the ground, do the same on the left side the front of the body three times and then to the back of the body three times bring the knee down from here we're going to place the hands into the side we're going to bring some movement to the shoulder blades and the wrists here one more and coming to center Placing the, then the fingers pointing towards your knees. We're going to shift from back, forward, back and forward. Back, exhale, inhale, forward, back and forward. Perfect. Now placing the, the hands into a neutral position. So the, the, the fingers are pointing forward. We're going to inhale, bringing the right arm up. We're going to exhale. Placing, threading the needle under the, the left arm, placing the right arm onto the ground and just lengthening onto the, the left, to the front of the body. Just a gentle twist, releasing the spine and the sacrum. Keep the hip aligned with the floor. On the next inhale, we're gonna bring the, the left arm and palm close to the face, pressing lifting ourselves up both hands are aligned inhale left hand goes up exhale thread the needle place the left arm onto the ground and lengthening the right one we call it a puppy pose with a twist
bringing the right arm, the right hand close to the face, pressing, coming into a tabletop here. From a tabletop, you're going to press down, lifting the hip towards the sky into a downward facing dog. From our downward facing dog, we're going to start to rotate our hips. So kind of leaning to the right, keeping the shoulders and the hands into a downward facing dog. So those do not move, but I'm walking side to side with my feet and hips, allowing a lengthening in the spine. We're gonna fully exhale here. On the next exhale, fully exhale, empty belly, step forward. Or little steps, inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands together, come all the way up. Exhale, hands down. You know, continue with the sun salutations with side, uh, high lunges. Inhale, hands up, look over the hands into a prayer pose or separate. Exhale, forward folds. Keep the knees bent. If you see that your spine is curving too much, bend the knees. Place the belly onto the thighs, and then if it is space, lengthening the knees. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Knees, chest, and chin. Exhale, inhale, slide forwards into a baby cobra. Keep the hip onto the ground. Here, tabletop. Exhale into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg goes up into a three legged dog and step between the hands. So bringing the knee to the chest and then stepping between the hands. Can place the knee down for now. And here we're gonna place one, come into our left hand, releasing the right and pressing the right knee away. Opening the hip. So my right foot is on the side, on the outer side. Now placing both hands onto the ground. See if you can do this. Lift the right, the left knee, coming up, and placing the hands into prayer. Tilt the the, the hips towards the front of the body, and exhale. Place both hands on either side of the foot, step back, knees, chest, and chin into a modified chaturanga. Inhale into a baby cobra. Exhale, take the, tuck the toes coming into a downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent. Allow to align your body and your poses to your body, to your structure, and to your ability. Don't ask too much, don't ask too little. Inhale, bringing the left leg up, knee to the chest, step between the hands. Place the right knee down. Release the left hand, place it on the knee, opening the hip. Exhale, opening. Now bringing the leg into a 90 degree angle, place both hands onto the ground. You can place also one hand into the inside of the, of the foot if you see that here is, is harder for you. Tuck the toe on the, on the right knee, on the right foot and lengthening the, the, the right leg, allowing to be nice and straight. Coming up, inhale, into with the hands in prayer. Exhale, placing both hands on either side of the foot, step back. Here is a choice, knees, chest and chin, exhale, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, slide forwards into a baby cobra or an upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, coming into a downward facing dog. 
two breaths here. Activate the shin and the foot when they are flex is an activation of the front shin and the foot. That activation brings your heel down towards the ground. On the next exhale, fully exhale. Look forward, baby steps, one step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands in prayer, coming all the way up, lengthening the hands, the top of the head. Exhale, arms down once more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Inhale here for one. Exhale, Chaturanga Vandasana on his chest and chin. Inhale, slide forwards into an upward facing dog or a baby cobra. Optional to come to Chaturanga. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're going to lift. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, step forward. My front knee, my, my front foot is going to be at, at, ten, at two o'clock, pointing at two o'clock on the clock. My heel is kind of almost aligned with my right buttocks, right side, and I'm going to allow myself to lean forward, press against the knee. What does it do? It brings, it tilts the hip, tilting the hip, allowing a, 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 a more functional stretch on the front of the leg on the left side. Imagining this knee is going up. And if you, if you imagining that, we allow the, the hip to sink more. If you can, release the hands. If you feel that you balance, release the hands. If not, keep the hands onto the floor. Allow the opening the chest, shifting the chest towards the sky. From here, we're going to place both hands onto the ground. We're going to tuck the toes onto the left, and we're going to pivot the feet. So left foot, the outer side of the foot is onto the ground. The, the right one is on the ball of the feet of the fur. And here, we're going to place the right hand onto the mat in front of us. The left comes back, and we forward fold. Shifting to the left side, the foot now pointing at 10 o'clock, allowing to lift the knee up so the hip sinks, shifting the torso, uh, tilting the, the hip will bring the weight equally to both legs, pressing away or keeping the hands onto the floor or releasing the hands opening the chest, looking up. Placing both hands onto the floor, doing the same we did before. Tucking the right toe, pivot. The left is on the ball of the foot. The right outer side of the foot is on the floor. Left hand on the front, right into the back. Forward fold, shift. Shift, one breath are the Bhujangasana. So pressing, inhale, exhale, placing both hands onto the ground, tuck the left toes, step back, knees, chest and chin, or exhale, Shaturanga Dandasana, inhale, slide forward into a baby cobra or upward facing dog. Optional, exhale, Shaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes up, doing the same on the left side, placing the foot on between the hands, 10 o'clock direction, shifting slightly forward so the heel is slightly under the buttocks, allowing the leg here to open to the side into the direction of the foot. Pressing away, tilting the tip, the hip, 
Releasing the hands if possible, opening the chest, look up. So shifting, we're going to come onto the toes on the right side, pivoting the feet, ball of the feet, outer side, left hand on the front, right to the back, forward fold, shift. Two o'clock, right foot, left leg lengthen, pressing, sinking, lifting the knee, opening the chest, release the hands. Coming down, uh, preparing for the shift, so pivot the feet, right hand on the front, left hand on the back, exhale, forward fold, shift forwards to the front of the mat, 10 o'clock, one breath, inhale. Exhale, place both hands onto the mat, step back, knees, chest and chin, exhale, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, slide forward into a baby cobra or a upward facing dog. Optional, exhale, Chaturanga into a downward facing dog, staying there for three breaths. Check if the feet are hip distance apart, are the hands pressing on the palm of the hand and the knuckles and the fingertips there. Is the shoulder blade stuck in into the middle of the body? So the arms are away from the ears. Lengthening, pulling the tailbone towards the sky, but without, without bringing the, 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 the arms close to the ears. You bring the tailbone to the air, but the arms are further away from the ears. Inhale here. To the back of the body, exhale, fully exhale. Look forward, jump or step to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold with bent knees if you like, if you wish. Check your level, check your ability. Don't force it too much. A little, always good. Inhale, coming back. All the way up. Exhale, Samasiti. Bringing the hands into the heart area. If you're female, I will place the left and then the right on top. If you're male, then the other way around. Connect. With the, if the left hand with the moon, right hand with the sun. Check the right heart rate of your body, of your heart. Check how you feel right now. Preparing yourself, allowing yourself to let go of the feeling and the sensation and release the arms. If you're in the front of the mat, here we're going to step back with our right leg to the back of the mat. So my right foot is a 45 angle degree. Both legs, legs are aligned. I'm going to turn the hips to the front of the mat. <coughs> For people, <coughs> some people might want to bring the right foot shorter and not so much in a 45 angle degree, but perhaps a 30 or, th or 15. From here, we're going to inhale, bringing the arms up into a warrior one, bending the, the right knee, the left knee, sorry, into a 90, 90 degree angle. And you can place the hands into prayer, keep spiraling the back leg, pressing with the outer side of the, of the left foot, coming into a warrior one, look over to your hands. And exhale, we're going to lengthening the left leg, forward fold into a partial tanasana. Keeping the hands onto the floor, onto the shin or the thigh. Keep pressing with the outer side and a big toe onto the ground. Inhale, coming all the way up, arms up. 
and exhale, arms down, pivot the feet. So we come now for, uh, facing our left, uh, right foot. Bringing the hips to the, to the back of the mat, aligning with a shorter area of the mat. Inhale, bend the right knee, coming into a Vira Pratrasana, warrior one. If you place the hands into prayer, look at your hands. Exhale, lengthening the right leg, coming into a Pashva Uttanasana. Spiraling the, the, the hip towards the front of the mat here. Inhale, the arms come first, protecting the, the, the back of our back, coming all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Stepping, pivoting to the front of the mat, and then step forwards. Stepping forward, we're going to place our hands into prayer. We're going to open slightly more than hip distance apart, so I would say outside of the mat, or you can face yourself to the longer side of the mat. Coming into order, our warrior, so um, goddess. So placing the uh, toes at 45 angle degree. My feet are onto a 45 angle. <coughs> Exhale, bending the knees here, Pressing with the outer side of the foot and the big toe, allowing this to open. So the knees must have go in the direction of the toes. And here we're going to pump for three. One, two, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, three. Holding here. Breathing into the parts where you feel the discomfort and let it go. Placing the hands onto the knees here. Bringing the, uh, opening the chest, bringing the shoulders down. So here we're gonna uh, twist the, the, the torso to the uh, right side, lengthening the right arm, opening the leg here to the back of the body. And then the same to the other side, exhale. Inhale, center, exhale, right side. Inhale, center, exhale, left side. Inhale, center, coming all the way up, arms up, hands into prayer, bringing the hands down into a prayer pose, bringing the feet closer together. Inhale, arms up, exhale, coming into Uttanasana. Bending the knees, allowing the, bed, the, the neck to rest, be um, relaxed and open, and allowing to dis discompress the tension in the lower back. Inhale, hands into prayer, coming all the way up, hands above the head, it can be the, hand, the palms apart or together. And exhale, release the hands, opening into a Prasadita Padugastasana. So the toes are slightly in. Sorry, I have a bit of a running nose. Uh, the toes are slightly in, and we're pressing with the outer side and the inner side of the foot here. Because if you press only with the outer side, what happens is the arch is going to lift too much and is not engaged no more. So we have to press with the big toe outer side of the foot here. Inhale, arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale, slightly tuck the pelvic in so it doesn't go too out. Tuck it in slightly. Exhale, the belly towards the back of the body and forward fold. Into Prasarita Padakarasana. Here, if you see that you're far away from, oops, from the ground, <laughs> don't lose the balance like I did, place a block, Stay, keep yourself here onto, onto this level. If you need two blocks, use two blocks, that's fine. If you're using the blocks, then on the next um, pose, we're going to shift to the right side. We're going to shift to the right side, we're going to hug the ankle and bring yourself on the next exhale towards to the shin. If you need the block, 
then we'll be placing the block onto the left and folding here, opening this side of the body. Bringing the hip, so here it, we tend to shift slightly the hip to the right side, so you want to bring slightly to the left. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, left side. Inhale, coming into the center here, placing the hands onto the mat, shifting and moving the feet again to a 45 degree angle like we were at the goddess pose, placing the hands onto the um, ankles. If you can't reach the ankles, then uh, place the hands into a prayer and shift this way, okay? To who can place the hands onto the ankles? We're placing the hand onto the ankle. The, my right elbow going to come onto the inner side of the leg. And I'm going to opening the leg here and look over my left. My toes are not lifting. All my foot on, is onto the ground. Inhale, center. Exhale, left side. Inhale, center, exhale, right side. Inhale, center, exhale, left side. One more time on either side. Inhale, center, exhale, into the right. But here we're gonna lift, squeeze, relax. Lift, squeeze, relax. Lift, squeeze, and relax, go deeper. Inhale, center, do the same on the other side. Left side, exhale. Inhale, lift, squeeze, and relax. Exhale, inhale, lift, squeeze, exhale. Go a little bit deeper. Inhale, squeeze, and exhale. Go slightly deeper onto the pose. Inhale, coming into the center. Placing the hands, releasing the hands, placing the hands in front of you onto the ground or in the block. And start to close the feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana. Bend the, bend the knees. Bring the chest as much as possible to the thighs, really nice and tidy here. The belly is to the back of the body. On the next exhale, lengthening the knees as much as you can without losing the integrity of the pose. Inhale, half lift here, hands into prayer, coming all the way up. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Here, inhale into a half lift. Exhale, bring, shift the weight to the hands. You can step or do a little jump. Exhale, knees, chest and shin or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, slide forward into a baby cobra or an upward facing dog. Opening the chest here. Optional, exhale, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot goes up. Exhale, step forward onto the outer side of my right hand. Placing the knee onto the ground. You can come up and stay here or you can come all with the, both hands onto the mat opening the knee here another option is to come all the way with the elbows and 
Another option will be to tuck the toes on the left foot and lengthening the left leg. Really pulling away with the heel, so the heel is pushing back, really opening, creating space here. And the head will be pulling to the front of the mat. From here, exhale, place the knee onto the ground, come into your hands and walk the foot to the left hand. Here we walk the foot to the left hand, we bring the knee towards the ground, right, foot, right knee towards the ground. Here, options. You can keep it this way. If you see that there's a lot of space here, place a pillow or a block or a, a combination of both into our pigeon. Another option will be to bring the, the foot slightly in. Keeping this foot active, so we are flexing the toes, keeping that foot active and the back is extended. Inhale here, lengthening, don't forget to use your pillow and if you want to use a pillow or a block, you will put the, the pillow on the block under the buttocks on the right leg. And here we'll give you the support you will need. Inhale here, exhale, forward fold. Here you can come onto your elbows. You can come on with the front head. If you feel that it's too straining, you can place pillows here on the front and then forward fold over the pillows. bringing the right hip to the back of the body, so slightly creating a shift of the hip as it slightly can be slightly diagonal, trying to align the hip into square. From here, inhale coming up. If you can, uh, bend the left foot, grab, bend the left knee, <laughs> grab the foot and bringing all the way down. If you can't, you can do it just here, it's fine. If you need a strap or a scarf, that a towel can be as well, put it around the foot and pull it there. And we do this for one, release, two, release, three, exhale, release. Placing both hands in front of you, tucking the left toes, lifting, lifting the body here and coming into a downward facing dog. Inhale, bringing the uh, left leg up and step on the outer side of the left hand. If necessary, open, coming into the outer side of the left foot it creates more space so you can go slightly closer to the ground onto your elbows you can stay in your hands or also you can tuck the right toes lengthening the leg and shooting in antagonist directions the head with the heel Hold there, keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Inhale, press with the hands, walk the left foot to the right hand. Slowly bringing the left knee to the ground and the right as well. Lengthening the back foot, so the right foot is lengthened. Activate the left and allow to sink in. If you need the pillow, place the pillow or a block or two, as you wish, under the left buttocks. You can also place the right hand onto the left foot and by flexing the toes and pressing with the hand onto the foot, 
and the left hand onto the knee, lengthening, tilting the pelvis, bringing yourself into a more opening into the right leg. Exhale, the back of the, the belly to the back of the body, forward fold. Again, if you have a block or the or, or the hands, press here with the front head without creating any curvature on the spine, but just pressing to bring the back, the, the tailbone away from the uh, front of the body. So it's shooting back. Inhale, coming up. Tapping the toes, lifting, coming into a downward facing dog. Placing the foot accordingly to your hip distance apart and close enough, not too close from the body to create the triangle shape or the mountain shape. From here, we're going to lift the right leg, inhale. We're going to bend the knee and we're going to open the hip here. Opening, opening, opening. And here we're going to bring, exhale, knee to chest, step forward. Allowing the back foot here to slide back. And I'm going to place the knee onto the ground. I'm going to untuck the toes and let that to slide back. I have a cotton mat, so it, it, it's kind of burning. And if you have a, 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 a rubber one, probably also is not very helpful in that matter. But here, now, I'm going to lift the toes. I'm going to be on my heel. And I'm going to allow myself to lengthen here. Coming into the split. So squeeze and relax. Hold yourself with your hands, tuck, bring the weight to the pelvis, allowing yourself to come slightly deeper onto the ground. If it's too straining, do use your blocks. Place the blocks onto the under of the hip. It's going to stay here a little. So, in this way, I'm fully supported. And I'm going to place my hands here. And I, if you see this is too easy, then, okay, I'm going to go a little bit more. If it's this too hard and you need more lift, then you do this onto the blocks. Do the L shape and stay on the L. Squeeze, 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 squeeze the muscles, squeeze the adductors, squeeze the arm strings. And the quadriceps and relax, exhale. Now, pressing with the hands, tuck the toes, slowly walk back into a plank. Knees, chest and chin or Chaturanga Dandasana, exhale. Inhale, slide forwards into a baby cobra or an upward facing dog. Look forward or look up in the upward facing dog. Exhale, optional, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip and try to bring the left foot closer to the ground, keeping the shoulders alive. And then step forward, allowing the right knee to come onto the ground. Start to walk, walk. So my left, my right leg is now lengthened, is extended. I'm gonna come onto the back and come onto the heel of my left foot and slide forwards with a bent knee. The front knee, it can be bent, not the back. Because the, mo the lengthening comes from the back. You want to train that. We want to train that. And shift, shift forward. 
Inhale, squeeze, 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 and exhale, relax. Use the blocks, use the pillows, use anything that might make you feel less discomfort. A little bit is okay, four or five percent, but too much, no. Then we'll be hurting yourself, we don't want that. Inhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Coming all the way up, and exhale, release. Tucking the toes, start to shift using the hands to support you. And come back, place the hands into the front, tuck the toes into a downward facing dog. Walking your dog here, really gentle, downward facing dog. Now we're going to inhale, look up, full, fully exhale here. We're going to jump into seated or walk to seated. Fully exhale, hold, jump or step into seated Dandasana. In Dandasana, legs are extended. The feet are active, the toes are active, the legs, the back of the legs are active, the hands are to the side of the body. Pressing here onto the ground, looking forward, slightly the shin tucked in. Activating your uh, ujjayi breath. And having a few breaths here. Coming into Jarnushi Shasana 1. Inhale, right leg folds. The foot is close to the inner side of my left thigh. If you need a block, you can place the block under the buttocks. If it's too difficult to bend the knee to such a close um, a point of the buttocks, so we place the, the block under. If you can bend to this point, but then when you lean the knee onto the ground, it stays up, then you place the block under the knee. Left foot active always. Even though the leg is not doing much, it's always active. Flex the feet, flex the toes. Also, the right foot is also active. Press with the knee against the floor. That makes our torso comes to the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, place the hands onto the chins. Hold there, lengthening the spine coming up. Exhale, belly to the back of the body. Forward fold. If you can reach the foot, then stay on the foot. Allow to drop the head and stay here for two breaths. Don't forget to activate both legs. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, arms down, lengthening the right leg. Same on the other side. Bending left. Placing onto the ground. Press with the left knee onto the floor. Activate both feet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands onto the shin or onto the foot. Because my hands are on the foot doesn't mean that now I'm pressing against the foot. No, I'm just poising my hands here. Inhale, press slightly onto the toes to create that length or the shin, and exhale, belly to the back of the body, and fold, relax the, relax the jaw, relax the tongue. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, extend the leg and place the arms down. From here, we're gonna do a um, restorative pose, so we're gonna pass a few minutes here into Upavishta Kunasana. You are welcome to use the pillows. I gotta use the pillows and uh, you can use the block under the buttocks too. That's gonna create you more length. But also, it will let you go deeper onto the pose. If you have the range, it will go slightly even downer. So opening the legs into a comfortable 
stands. We call it a, can be a box slips, but this is a Upa Vista Kunasana. My feet are active, flexed, toes flex, all active. From here, you're going to inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, belly to the back of the body and forward fold. If you need another block, so we can place it onto the, between the pillows and allow yourself to fall here. Use as many pillows as you feel like. If it's a burning sensation on the legs, please do close the legs a little bit more. We want to be on the pose for two, three minutes. We don't want to feel any straining. If again, the block can be useful to place or anything else to place on the front and press the head there, bringing the tailbone down to the ground. Activate the feet by flexing the feet and the toes. Acti flexing the toes, activate the arches of the feet. Breathe in, exhale, let go. On the next inhale, remove the block if you have a block in front of you. Come walk the hands towards the body, lift yourself up, remove the pillows. Place the hands under the knees and bring the knees close together with the legs here. Extend the legs into the Dandasana, preparing to a Paschimottanasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, placing the hands onto the shin, lengthening here, or the shin, or the toes. So index and middle finger grabbing into the toes. Inhale here, or the shins. Inhale, lengthening here, back the belly, back to the back of the body. And exhale, fold. Keep the legs active, the feet active. Relax the jaw, relax the front head, relax the tongue, allowing the sides of the tongue to relax and flap to the sides of the mouth. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Sliding the buttocks towards the heels, coming into your elbows and lying in the back of the body, bringing the knees close to the chest, slightly opening the knees to a more than hip distance apart, bringing the hands and grabbing the outer side of the foot, bringing the legs into a 90 degree angle into a happy baby, rocking side to side, tucking the chin slightly towards the chest, Bring the tailbone as close to the crown as possible. If that's too difficult, you can use the straps and the legs will be further away. So holding the strap here, you will have to use two straps, one on each foot. And here you can perhaps lengthen one leg, this is optional. And then the other, exhale. Now placing the, uh, the soles of the feet together, interlacing the fingers around the feet and opening here. 
and Pada Kunasana lay down by the Kunasana. Placing the feet onto the ground, sliding the heels away from the body into a Shavasana. The feet are flapping out. The hands are slightly away from the body, the palms are facing up, so the arms are slightly away. Lift, press with the feet first, lift the hip, tap the, the hip, and then drop the hip down. So it's a less curvature on the back, on the lower back. Bringing the lengthening the feet, flopping the feet to the side, tuck the shin, close the eyes, Start to feel the groundness of the Shavasana pose, the corpse pose. How is that sensation with the ground? How do you feel in the body touching the floor? I'd like you to breathe deeply and exhale, let go of the tension, discomfort, thoughts. Shavasana is a disintegration of the mind and the body. It's considering to be one of most difficult poses, which the only and uh, main goal is to quiet the mind, to be in a meditative state of the mind. So using the breath as an anchor and using the breath as an aid, we're going to use the exhalation to activate the parasympathetic nervous system and let go. And allow yourself to disintegrate, dissolve into the earth. To feel the gratitude to nature by conceiving us, conceiving us with this amazing, extraordinary magic every day. To connect with the harmony and the balance that that nature, that, that dimension, that existence is based upon. Connect with the interchange with our breath and the breath of the trees. What we exhale, the trees inhale. What the trees exhale, we inhale. And that is a gift. Inhale, start to bring some movement to the hands and to the wrists. Nodding the head side to side. Keeping the hands above the head. Exhale, uh, move to the left side of the body. So the head will be supported by the left arm. The right arm is going to come in front of the chest with the palm facing down onto the ground. Inhale, press with the right hand, coming, lifting yourself, keeping the eyes closed. The head will come at, at for last or at last. And coming into a seated position as comfortable for you. We're going to inhale, bring the arms up. Into a, part, into a prayer, exhale, bringing the hands into the chest and bow towards the chest. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here today. Please do give me a feedback on how you felt today and how the class was for you. You're welcome to do donations as you please and how is your availability for some. I will be here next week, Sunday, with a... Um, another class focused on hip mobility and flexibility. I hope to see you then. Also, um, on Tuesday is a talk on Ayurveda and the Dushas. Have a wonderful Sunday. Don't want to hold you no more. 
and namaste.